If a vim pig drawing a grid. So here's the command. This is just to play a video and um, add a grid to the front of it. So ff play dash i tells it what the input file name is. Input.mp4 is the name of my file. Um, then we have the command which is draw grid and then the width is 100 pixels wide and then the height is 100 pixels so um, I'll show you a video of it and the thickness of the line is 2 pixels and the color is red so if we go to a video of it and there you go that's a bird with a grid in front of it I've uh, this was um, 1920 by 1080 and then I just scaled it down so here's another one if you want to do a couple of different colored lines so um, this is the fvmp command so the previous command um, the ff play it didn't have an output video that's all and so if you just want to do one grid set of grid lines you can just do the previous command that I did with ff play and then just put a name for your video like output dot whatever dot mp4 um, so this one if a vmpeg there's the input video an it was just because I didn't want any um, sound filter complex because you're doing a couple of different commands so um, here's the first draw group draw group command which is um, width is 20 pixels height is 20 so um, that's going to be the red ones and then on top of that is going to be another draw grid and see I've just put CWH so that's the same color as blue width is 100 height is 100 thickness is 4 so if you did it the other way around you probably would well you might not be able to see the um, if they were the same thickness you would be able to see the um, blue underneath the red so it pays to think about what you're wanting to show uh, visibly so I'll show you a video and I just did T5 for time because um, I just wanted five seconds of my video to be shown so here so you can see blue lines over the top and then red tiny little lines grid lines so the width of these is 100 and the height is 100 so it goes 100 to there and then there's another 100 and then there's another 100 and the same down 100, 100, 100 okay um, now this one is just showing that you can use um, you can use other uh, things such as um, thickness or um, width or height within the um, within the uh, description of what you want the width to be so for this one I've gone um, the width of the um, the whole video divided by two so you, there's going to be two lines one at the start and one in the middle and the same with the height so and this one's going to be a grid line with um, every hundred pixels so um, basically this red line is going to be um, showing the center point of the um, of the video so I'll go to the video and there you go see there's the red line there's also the first red line there at the top and then another one halfway because that's what I've told it to do and I hope that helps you with using gridline people use it for all sorts of things they use it for um, graphs or in the background of graphs so that you can um, see measurements and uh, oh the other thing I did do another one um, I'm not sure how useful this is but you could so I've made it that mine was um, 
I made it a hundred less, so mine was nineteen twenty by ten eighty, the the size of my my video, and I've just put a um, hundred. Uh, pixels less of the height for the width and 100 less for the height and then I've made the thickness 100 so you can guess what's going to happen here I just did A because I didn't want any noise and if you think what's going to happen I'll show you a video yeah see it does a uh, border um, yeah so there's lots of different things you could use it for that's a couple of examples um, and here's some links. Uh, the first one is the FFmpeg documentation and then the second link was a link I found which was interesting in it and it had them in bash scripts so that might be helpful for whatever you're doing and uh, thank you for watching. I didn't do a thank you slide this time but thank you very much anyway. <laughs>